I'm uh, Richard Bayford, I'm a professor at uh, Middlesex University. I'm also a director of biophysics in the uh, Middlesex Cancer Centre. I started my research looking at a technique known as electrical impedance tomography, the way we can image uh, impedance changes inside the human brain. We extended that into a technique known as deep brain stimulation, which is a pacemaker for the brain, where you put an electrode inside the brain, you fire a stimulus, and that reduces things like tremor, so for Parkinson, dystonia, essential tremor. Once the device is put in, it will actually allow that to be minimised to virtually no tremor at all, allow them to function as a normal person in society. The problem with DBS at the moment is that the uh, field is fired in all directions. So although you might rectify the tremor, you might cause memory loss, you might cause depression, you might cause other side effects that are generated. And we want to point it in the right direction. So we model the actual brain and the regions that the field of activation is going in. That involved developing image reconstruction algorithms, and those algorithms themselves required solving mathematical uh, models and problems to create what we call the forward and an inverse solution. We're looking to see how we can make the researchers we produce go out to industry and business and start leading and producing new products, new developments, uh, and new ways of doing things, which in the health industry uh, is new ways of curing people, improving the outcomes of quality of life for the population and reducing the cost in the NHS. I think the potential is that we will be able to refine and improve DBS so that it is a more effective treatment. But there's a, the side effect of this is that we can actually learn a lot about the functionality of the brain in terms of its neural pathways and connectivity. Middlesex has always had this ethos of applied research but it's applying to solve problems and real problems and this is where our impact comes. That's what we're really aiming towards, to try and deliver something that a patient or someone can get an improvement in their quality of life and that's where I get the satisfaction out of the research.